In a surprising turn of events, New Zealand's new government has ignited international controversy by pledging to reverse the ban on offshore oil and gas exploration, a move that contradicts the global push for a fossil fuel phase-out. As the world grapples with the consequences of the hottest year on record and increasing climate disasters, the decision has raised eyebrows and sparked criticism from environmental activists, political leaders and climate organisations alike. Just weeks after making headlines for reversing the world's first smoking generation ban, the New Zealand government is once again at the centre of global attention. The decision coincides with COP28, the UN climate conference in Dubai. The decision highlights a stark contradiction between New Zealand's pledge to advocate for a global fossil fuel phase-out at COP28 and its commitment to rekindle offshore oil and gas exploration at home. In response to the government's controversial decision, the Green Party has launched a petition urging the coalition government to reconsider its plans to restart offshore oil and gas exploration. Green Party co-leader James Shaw has been vocal about the dangers and unscientific nature of reversing the ban, emphasising the urgent need to address the climate crisis by moving away from fossil fuels. New Zealand's decision has not gone unnoticed. The country was recently awarded the Fossil of the Day Award at a major climate change summit. Climate Action Network International criticised the government's move, highlighting the apparent contradiction between New Zealand's commitment to climate change and its decision to expand fossil fuel development. Leaders from Pacific nations, including the President of Palau and Vanuatu's climate change minister, have voiced their concerns, adding to the growing international criticism. Amanda Larson, head of campaigns at Greenpeace Aotearoa, has issued a warning about the potential consequences of New Zealand's decision. She describes the government's position on oil exploration as extremist and warns that the country risks becoming a Pacific pariah. Even Germany's top climate diplomat has spoken out against the move, saying that reopening New Zealand to offshore oil and gas exploration goes against both science and economics. What are your thoughts on New Zealand's decision? Share them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop on all things marine conservation.